helicopter was discovered? Any guesses? Where was the Utah Raptor discovered? In Utah, correct. The Utah is the only state that is represented by two dinosaurs. The Allosaurus is the state fossil. And what do you guys think the state dinosaur is? It's the Utah Raptor. The Utah Raptor is also from the early Cretaceous period. That is 125 million years ago. Could you imagine if you had 125 million loonies? That's a lot of loonies, huh? Wow, yeah. <laughs> Alright, another thing about the Utah Raptor is that they are the biggest member of the Raptor family. Can you give me a big dinosaur roar if you've ever heard of a Velociraptor? Velociraptor is actually pretty small. The movies kind of lied about it. They're about the size of a modern day turkey, about three feet tall, maybe six feet long in length. But the Utah Raptor triple, triples its size and is the biggest member of the Raptor family. But something the movies did get correct is Raptors are very, very smart. So smart, I've already taught Diego some tricks. Do you want to see Diego do some tricks? Yeah! Diego, do you want to show them how professional we are? All right, Diego, can you? Good boy! Diego, can you sit? <laughs> Amazing! I told you guys I'm a professional! Now that he's on a high level with everybody else, and you have to get him to get back up to keep moving. Diego, can you stand back up? Amazing! With a little hop in his step! Alright, here's another one. This one is really fun. This is for everyone who has their cameras out and ready. Diego, can you strike a pose? Told you guys he's really cool. All right, have you guys ever seen a dinosaur dance before? Yeah. Do you want to see a dinosaur dance? Yeah. All right, do you ready to show off your dance moves? One hop this time. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Everybody, clap your hands. Yeah, look at him go. Thank you guys for clapping for him. Daniel's arms are a little bit too short. He does have some really awesome claws at the end of his arm, so those claws can grow up to 10 inches long, as Diego just showed with his teeth. He has a really, really nice and scary smile. Diego, want to show off your teeth again? Big smile, buddy. Good boy. Now with those teeth and those claws, what do you think Diego eats? Meat. What is a meat eater called? Carnivore. So keep that in mind as he comes close. Remember, we want to make sure we have enough room from the fence so we don't push it in. Because he is a carnivore, and if he gets a little agitated, I don't want him coming towards you. But as he comes around, I want you to take a good look at those feathers and make sure you have his permission before you touch him. So if you want to pet him, I would ask him first, okay? I don't want anyone losing any fingers here today. But he does have feathers, but he cannot fly. He's not a bird, even though he kind of looks like one with all those feathers on top of him, doesn't he? Now, because he's not a bird and he's a little bit too big and he has feathers and cannot fly, he still has them. Does anyone have any guesses to why Diego has feathers? What's your guess? What? Because he can't wait. Well, that's why he can't fly, but why does he have feathers? What's your guess? To keep him warm? To keep him warm? That's a really good guess. What's your guess? For camouflage? That's a really, really good guess. Any other guesses? We got warmth, we got camouflage. What's your guys' guess? For speed. All right, we're really close on that one. So what is a big bird that's alive today that has feathers but cannot fly? I think I heard it. Say it loud. An ostrich, correct. And just like ostriches, we think Diego would use his feathers to run super, super fast and make really, really sharp turns, just like how ostriches do for aerodynamics. Can everyone say aerodynamics? Yeah. Beautiful. Now, another thing about Diego, our Utah Raptor. Utah Raptors are also known to be pack hunters. So not only were they carnivores, they also work together as a pack to hunt. However, Diego is the only one in the pen here today. But we still like to exercise his ability to hunt by playing a game. Do you guys want to play a game with me and Diego? Yeah. yeah? On the first game, you get to become a member of Diego's pack, all right? So that's gonna be on this hand. On the second game, 
you become a member of my pack and you help 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 keep me safe from a terrifying dinosaur. Yeah, I see you, Diego. I know which one you already want to play, okay? But we gotta make sure they choose the game, all right? So if I hold up this hand, it's because you guys were voting for my game. If you're hold if I'm holding up this hand, it's because you guys are voting for Diego's game. Whichever one gets the loudest roar will be the game that we play, okay? So what do we say for Diego's game? It's a really good roar. I think that might win. So what do we say for my game? Yeah. I have two good too. Okay, hold on, come here. For Diego's game. Yeah. For my game. Yeah. Oh, that's so close. Uh, let's see. Diego? Give me one hop for your game and two hops for your game. My game. Alright, fine, we'll play your game. He's a little bit biased. Alright, so it looks like today we are playing. Red light, green light, yay! Alright, so Diego, go ahead and find the best spot for you to stand, alright? And wherever he stands, I'm going to stand the opposite direction. So I guess he's staying right there. So are you guys brave enough to have a dinosaur come towards you? Yeah. Do you guys promise to not let him meet me? If something does happen to me, can you continue on the show? Yeah, you can do it? Alright, I trust you. Alright, so whenever I am facing Diego, we're all going to yell together, red light. And by we, I mean you guys, because I don't want to yell into the mic. That might hurt him a little bit. So when I'm facing away, you guys are going to yell, green light. You think you got it? Yeah? All right, so let's practice a few times. What do you say when I'm facing this way? What about this way? This way? This way. This way. Nothing. Yay! Good job. You guys got it. All right, Diego, are you ready to play, boy? All right, I want you to give me your best sneak when we play, okay? Are you guys ready to play? Yeah! All right, on your marks, watch out for the tail, you guys. Get set, play. Is he doing a good sneak? Where I can smell your breath. That's a question for him. They want to pet you, buddy. Is that okay? Alright, good job. Thank you for letting them. Alright, everybody, you've all successfully worked together as a pack to help Diego track me down. And so now you know how to do it. Be a pack member. I think I'm going to have to give you guys a pop quiz to see if you guys remember every single fact that I gave you. Alright? Where was the Utah rapper discovered? Utah! Utah! What period is he from? The Cretaceous. How many years ago? A hundred and twenty-five. What does he eat? Meat. Meat. How long can his claws get? Ten inches. Good job, you guys. Pass with flying colors. That officially means it's time for all of you to become dinosaur trainers. Are you ready to train a dinosaur? but since you guys passed the flying colors, I am fully confident that you guys are ready. So I'm going to show you guys the very first few tricks that I showed you how to do today, okay? And depending on how well you do, maybe we'll get to teach them a new one. We'll see. All right, first thing you got to do, both feet on the ground. Make sure you have enough room from the fence. So back up just a bit if you got it. All right, both feet on the ground, you guys. All right, now you're going to hold out your arm. You're gonna move it to your shoulder over and over again. All right, and there are a lot of you for the next step, so if he doesn't hear you, he might not come towards you. You will have to get loud to say these magic words, and you can try as many times as you need to, okay? The magic words you're gonna have to say are, Diego, come!
towards you, the next step is to have him stop and calm down. Because if he doesn't come down, he might run you over. And we don't want that to happen. And we do have to establish a level of trust and respect. Right, Diego? Yeah? So now what we're going to do is we're going to have him sit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold up our hands. We're going to make a fist. And you're going to bring it down like this. And once you're done here, we're going to say on a count of three all together. Diego, sit. All right? One, two, three. a lot of power and now that you're at eye level I think you guys have a good amount of trust and respect but we do have to keep them moving right so if you want them to keep moving we're gonna hold up our hands right here so we're done to sit now you're gonna pretend you're throwing a ball up into the air and once your ball is up as high as it can get we're gonna say Diego stand up all right one two three yeah! amazing look at him go and this one's our absolute favorite for everyone who does still have their phones out. We're gonna make him strike a pose. So the best way to do that is to strike your best pose yourself. And on a count of three, we're all gonna say together, Diego, strike a pose, okay? One, two, three, Diego! Good boy, look at that smile, fantastic. All right, so you guys did absolutely amazing for this one. I think it's time that we can teach him a brand new trick. Do you guys want to try doing that with me? Yeah. yeah? All right, so I saw this in a third book. I didn't really look at it. It's just kind of been dusting itself over in the back of the box table. But I think I got it to find the pictures. All right, Diego. So I think this is what we got to do. Diego, can you turn around? <laughs> what do you mean? You don't get it? Oh, um, maybe it was a different thing. Okay, so Diego. Okay, watch this. Ready? Diego. Turn around. Oh, um, not quite. That is a really good circle, though, but we do want to try to turn completely around. Kind of like, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you guys know what to do. What should we do to have him turn around? Because apparently this is really confusing. What? Turn around. Turn around. I should turn around? I should turn around? Yeah. Can we all do it together? Yeah. All right, once again, both feet on the ground. And make sure you have enough room from the fence. We don't want to push it in. So back up just a bit, all right? And on the count of three, let's all spin together. All right, Diego, come up just a little bit, just to be safe. Good boy. All right, together on the count of three, let's all spin around together. So Diego, turn around, all right? One, two, three. Diego, turn around. Oh, look at him go. That was a really good one on one leg, too. Who knew you were so talented? I knew, but sometimes I don't want to give him that much credit. He might get a little bit too egotistical. Let's do it one more time to make sure he's really learned that lesson because repetition is a really good way to learn things. Do you guys know what to do over here? Yeah? Do you guys know what to do over there? Yeah? And you guys know what to do, right? All right, on a count of three, let's do it one more time. One, two, three. Diego, turn around. Good job. Look at him go. That was a really amazing turn. I am so proud of you, and I'm so proud of you guys, because you officially taught him a brand new trick without reading any books. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I should try that at some point. All right, you guys. Now that you've passed the pop quiz with flying colors, you know how to work together as a pack, and you've taught him a brand new trick as well as learned all the basics. You have officially all become dinosaur trainers. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna send Diego on a walk around. And as he does get close, this is your perfect time to take a picture. And please be sure to ask him his permission before you pet him and ask him loud and clear. So if he's gonna come around, just be a little bit patient with him as he does come through. He will get to you as soon as we try to. We're gonna come and take turns with everybody along the fence, all right? And try not to push in the fence anymore because we want to make sure he has enough room to get around. Remember, be careful with those fingers. He is still a carnivore. If you do post these photos anywhere, please hashtag them, hashtag Jurassic West, and do tag us. We would love to share these memories with you and see how these look through your eyes specifically. Good boy. You're looking so nice. You haven't eaten a single bite-sized human today. Good boy. Good boy. Amazing. Let's see here. Good boy. Good smiles. Good smiles. Yeah. Good 
Good boy. I promise everyone will get their turn. Don't forget to ask them for permission before you touch them. Good boy. When he gets a little bit closer, okay?